Paul's here. How are you today? Well, today is Tuesday, the 25th of August, and we are going to check pages 77, 78, and 79 from the activity book. Then we are going to work on pages uh, 122, 23, 24, 25, and the review from page 128 from unit 10. Then you have to um, uh, add these verbs uh, in El Cuaderno, in the notebook of vocabulary, or vocabulary de la A la Z, from A to Z, plus injuries, yes? Because today we're going to, to uh, go uh, to take, yes? Words with take and verbs with take, plus injuries, uh, cuts and bruises, yes? Okay? Uh, we're going to revise a personal, this is a revision, personal email. Uh, we're going to highlight, you're going to highlight all the grammar charts as always. And you're going to write your own examples with the words uh, I tell you, okay? Next class, you're going to have the revision on unit 10. So you need to study, I am a nota. Uh, homework, composition number 10 from the list. Composition number 10 from the list. Then you have another email, yes, this is composition number 10 from the list. All right, this, it says, you need to raise money for your prom. Organize a party and write a leaflet for this event. Remember, leaflets uh, need to have um, colors need to have uh, a picture yes yeah? so you can play with different work with different uh letters different handwriting yes okay colors yes and well you need to raise money for your prom organize a party yes uh when and where yes how much are the tickets yes okay how much the tickets are well, we need to know all that yes how much is it uh where and when is the party uh, dress code, yes, etc. Yes, so I want a very, very nice leaflet, okay? Is it clear? That is um, comp composition number 10. And mass words, you have collect, wonderful place, program, Sunday from mm -mm, to, okay? So that is uh, composition number 10. And then you're going to write um, an email that is exercise A from page 125. But be careful. I give you the topic. And the topic is, the topic says, I broke up with my boyfriend. Yes, last night. Yes, okay. He broke my heart. Yes. Mass words, actually, obviously, by the way, so. 80 words, a short one. Yes, okay. Then I will sit down for some seconds, minutes. Yes, okay. Uh, that is uh, page 125. Yes, exercise, exercise 8. It says write a reply to the email you have received. Yes, okay. Well, yo te doy el topic. Yes, okay. This is the topic. Last night I broke up with my boyfriend. I feel very sad, yes, okay, he broke my heart, yes, okay, so you have to answer this email, uh, you have to imagine your best friend has broken up with his or her boyfriend, so you need to answer this email, yes, um, okay, your best friend's email, okay, and those are the mass words, you have an example of a personal email, you already know how to write a personal email, because this is very basic, okay, this is a review, Hi, Susan, comma, introduction, body, and ending, yes, and then uh, you say goodbye, the ending, yes, we got, uh, bye, see you, take care, love, yes, okay, is it clear? Well, so let's go, and um, I want you to um, open the activity books on page 78, 79, yes, um, we're going to check, is it clear? If it is okay, put a tick, if it is wrong, put a cross. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good. Wait a minute. Check. 
again. Well, there is one, I, uh, yes, I didn't put here, but it's 76 too. Yes, okay, 76. That was in the homework, but I didn't put there, in, in the, on the board. Yes, is it? Okay, yes, I, there, is, there, there was something that was missing. Okay, so second conditional, how you form the second conditional? If plus pass plus good infinitive. If I passed my exam, I would be very happy. I could buy a new car if I have money. If I have money, yes, I could uh, buy um, toys for my daughter and I could buy a new laptop. Yes, uh, I would be uh, grateful if you send me, uh, if you sent that information I asked. Yes, okay, the information I asked. Is it clear? So, acordate. If plus uh, pass plus good infinity. Ojo. Siempre el if va pegado del, pa, del pass. Este adelante o atrás. Yes, porque a veces podemos comenzar con I would be very happy if y está la, de la otra parte. If. Así que bueno, esa trampita ya te la enseñé antes. Así que um, pay attention. Yes, ok. Well, mm, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, wait a minute. There we are. Okay, number one. Have to, you go. Two, could take, would be. Three, would you miss, would be. Four, moved, could be. Set five, would find, went, would be welcome. Would probably do, would have to. Six, could be, would love, had. Number two, would, two, couldn't, three, would, four, could, five, would, seven, six, might, seven, would, and seven, and eight, might. Exercise three and six from the other page, from 77. Okay, three and six. Could you go, two, would be, three, wouldn't go, four, paid, Five weren't, six would laugh, seven will probably get, eight drops, nine will buy, ten will never happen. Yes, okay. This is, I uh, was, uh, you have to complete the conversation with conditional one or conditional two. Conditional one, if present, will. Conditional zero, if present, present. Yes, okay, it's clear. So don't mix the uh, other conditionals, yes, because this is a review for you. Yes, conditional zero, if present, present. If I go to school, I study, yes. Conditional two, if I went to school, yes, um, I would be very happy. Yes, okay, conditional uh, two, let it be, yes, okay. Conditional two, we are not practicing this, but uh, is if, yes, past perfect, would infinity. If pass, perdón, if pass, conditional zero, if present, present, conditional one, if um, zero, if present, present, conditional one, if present, will, I repeat again, yes, okay, conditional one, if plus pass, would infinity. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Well, um, exercise six, wouldn't enjoy, man, would feel where war woman lift would get woman would a boy got up woman yes okay so let's go to page 78 and then 79 78 exercises one two four and six yes okay ready tick or cross okay body hit two Cold water, three, hot air, four, high at altitude, altitude, diving deep, lack of oxygen, blood loss, starvation, day rotation. Two, 45 days, 27 days, 10 minutes, 40%, 42 centigrades, uh, bigger lungs and more red blood cells. Number four. That's the patient who I read about. O omitiendo el who también está bien. 
2, 1B, 2D. This is a new kidney which was grown in a laboratory. 3C. Athletics is one of the Paralympic sports which most people have seen. O también podemos omitir el which. 4E. I talked to the surgeon who operated on me. 5F. That's the hospital where they do heart transplants. 6A. It was midday when I came out of hospital. Okay? This is the house where I live. This is the woman who Yes, I admire, yes, um, this is the day, yes, when I was, uh, the 22nd of September was uh, of 19, 19, 1979 was the day when I was born, yes, okay, examples there, okay, uh, this is the computer which I work with, yes, okay. Um, remember, I always give you more examples when we are revising in the first part of the class, okay? The, these are topics for last class. 6, 1A, 2B, 2C, 3C, 4A, 5C, 6B, okay? So let's go to uh, page nada, okay? <laughs> we are there, we are done, okay? Good, so very quickly, I'm going to, uh, I want you to pick the date on pages 122, 123, 124, 25, and 128. Yes, okay? So, the first thing we are going to do um, is uh, I'm going to project pictures of famous people. And uh, you're going to think about it. I want you to think about this question. We, what things... Yes, these people, the one I will project, have in common. Yes, okay, is it clear? Okay, two journeys, two lives. Yes, this is the topic of Unit 10C. Okay, so I will project these people and I want you to tell me what things they have in common. Yes, okay, there we are. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. There we are. I'm sure you all know these people and I want you to tell me what things they have in common. Yes? Okay? Well, that's, that's the first one. Okay? I think you know who's this. Well, this is uh, Mandela, Nelson Mandela. Yes, he's from uh, South Africa. Yes, okay. Um, he was a very, very important person for, from people from South Africa. Uh, he was a very intelligent man. Yes, he was elected uh, the president also. He. Uh, was very very poor he was very poor yes so that's why he had to leave his studies then he was in prison he started studying yes again in prison and he didn't finish his career and then after he continued he tried again and he got his degree yes he was a famous lawyer and he's also uh, an active, he was also an activist, yes, he fought against, yes, uh, discrimination, yes, he thought, he thought that people, yes, all the people in the world, yes, must have to have equal opportunities, yes, okay, 
So he uh, fought against white discrimination, yes? So he was very, very important. He was an active president too, yes? And you know, he was very poor. He couldn't finish his studies and then he started again. He was a president and he started again, yes? So he made the effort and he was a very intelligent person and he knew. He said, if I, grew, if I had to die, yes, if I had to die, yes, I would do it for my country, yes, for rights, for equal rights, yes, okay. Is it clear? All right, so let's go to the second one, okay. Well, this is Mary Cree, yes, you know her. Uh, she was uh, a very, a very intelligent. All these people are very, were very intelligent. Yes, okay. Uh, she was uh, a scientist. Yes. She was from Warsaw. Yes, she was from Warsaw. Uh, um, she investigated. Yes, she was a scientist. Yes. Uh, she also won the Nobel Prize. Yes, okay. Um, what else? Um, she was one of the greatest women because at those periods, yes, okay, uh, it was difficult to recognize women, but she won a Nobel Prize, yes. Uh, I think she was, if I'm not mistaken, she was married to uh, an, a scientist too. I remember, I think uh, they both bought a bicycle and uh, they went around Europe, yes, I don't know, not Europe, but they went on holidays by bicycle, yes, okay, investigate, Google it, yes, okay, she had many mental problems, depression problems, I think, yes, okay, uh, check, well, and then um, we have uh, Stephen Hawking, yes, okay, you know, who he is. He's also a very important person from the UK. He was born in Oxford. Yes, okay. This is one of her, her wife, his wives. Yes, okay. And uh, then he was a scientist too. Yes. And then he was diagnosed. Yes, okay. A problem. Uh, so he couldn't move. Yes, okay. It was a disease that has to be um, with the motor, yes, okay, neuron, neuron, yes, okay, so uh, he could, he lost his ability to walk, yes, uh, to talk, yes, so he needed, uh, he was, he lived, I think, if I'm not mistaken, for 50 years using this device that allowed, a device, yes, that allowed him to uh, communicate, yes, and continue working, yes, okay. It was uh, uh, a kind of, um, commu uh, I mean, a kind of uh, speech, a kind of speech device that allowed him to communicate, yes. He was a brave man, I think. And this is G.K. Rowling. I really like her, yes. Uh, she was also very poor. Uh, as in, I, I, I always remember this, you know, she's the writer of Harry Potter and other books, yes, but she was famous by this Harry Potter's book. Um, I remember one thing I read about her is that it was, you know, in London, well, she's from London, yes, uh, she's uh, from the United Kingdom, she's English, and... Um, you know, uh, she used to be, uh, well, you know, in London, in, in England, I would say in the UK, it is very, 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 very cold. So you need to have a warm place to live. But as she was very, very poor, you know how, where she wrote uh, her book. She went to a pub, she sat for many, many, many hours and wrote the book in a pub. Why? Because there was central heating there, so she felt warm, yes, and hot there, yes, because at home she didn't have the possibility to have a central, central heating, yes, so 
she wrote and she spent many hours there in, in that pub, yes, and it, she was very brave. She was a very brave woman, okay? Well, she's an English writer, yes, okay. Well, so what do these, yes, these people have in common, yes? Uh, G.K. Rowling, Mandela, Nelson Mandela, Mercury, yes, the, uh, Stephen Hawking, and uh, G.K. Rowling, yes, okay? They uh, have to overcome, yes, they have to overcome obstacles in life, yes? So in their lives. So I think they were all very brave, yes? Do you know any people from your family or any people from your, any person from your friends that have uh, to overcome obstacles in life? Do you think uh, we human beings have obstacles in our lives? Yes, do you think about it? Think about it and how we overcome these obstacles. Do we uh, get depressed easily? Do we have to say, okay, I will be brave and I will continue and continue and continue? How do you overcome the obstacles you have in life? Yes, I, okay, think about it and talk about it. Yes, okay? Well, um, I like her. Yes, okay? Good. Well, so let's go to page 121. Yes, okay? Um, you have to read the text. Yes, okay, there are... John Dow, yes, and Diane Van Barek, Varen, yes, okay. You will read them and you will do from page 122, exercises one, two, yes, three, six, seven. And we're going to talk about um, the speaking that is 10, okay? Well, so uh, let's do exercise one. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Good, good, good. Well, uh, one B is probably the best answer. Yes, okay. Uh, well, in life you have to face difficulties. Yes, okay. Uh, however, uh, However, all became relatively rich and very famous. Yes, this is, uh, they this is another thing they have in common, that they were poor, they have to face different difficulties, but then they became rich, yes, okay, and famous, yes, okay. Um, G.K. Rowling, for example, has sold more children's books than anyone else. Mary Curie was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. Yes, I told you that. The first woman, yes. Nelson Mandela was the first uh, black South African president. And Stephen Hawking has made original scientific breakthrough. Yes, okay. Number two. Yes, okay. Uh, you have to read the text and do it. Yes, okay. Diane Van Deren, two, at the Yukon Arctic ultra race in the art in the arctic three from 15 to 26 february 2009 in the middle of winter yes 700 kilometers yes approximately 11 days uh frozen fruit and nut bars text to john doe yes to um sudan ethiopia and kenya now, 3, 1987 for the first journey, four years later to the return journey, uh, 1,600 kilometers, uh, five, uh, five weeks for each of two journeys in, in Bol, six, no food or drink. On the first journey, it's not mentioned and in relation to the return journey. Yes, okay. And then we go to the take words. So I want you to take, vas a tomar tu cuaderno de la A la Z, Yes, ese que te dije que armes con todas las palabritas. Ya te voy a pedir una foto donde me vas a mostrar las palabritas y cómo lo fuiste haciendo. Yes, ok. And we have a uh, take. Uh, por favor, quiero que completes esta parte donde dice take part in, en la foto pizarra, copiátelas. ¿sí? Hacete una lista con un post-it, así como siempre te enseñó la teacher. Y después la vas a pasar en el cuaderno de la A a la Z. Dice clear, take part in. 
take part in, participate, yes? Will you take part in that parade? Yes. Um, take, will you take part in, remember, I explain the word and I give you examples. And then you write your own examples. That's why it says here, highlight grammar charts and write own examples. Take part in, okay? Will you take part in that play? Take out, remove. Oh my God, I have to take out some old clothes from my house, yes, okay? Oh no, I have to take out some of uh, these old curtains, yes, okay, remove, yeah? Take him more than, okay, time, time, si, ¿sí? se refiere al tiempo, okay? It took me more than uh, two hours to correct all the things I have in my agenda, yes, okay, is it clear? This is real, it's in my agenda, okay, good. Um, it took him half of his life, yes, okay, is it clear? Some studies, some research, yes, take, yes, half of your life, yes, okay, take care of, look after, will you take care of my two daughters, uh, because you are a babysitter, so uh, I, I, I need to go out next Saturday. It's a, a wedding party. Yes, okay. Take place, happens, okay. Where do you think the next uh, marathon will take place? Yes, okay. Take up, to start, will you take up uh, dancing, ballet? Will you take up doing judo? Will you take up the classes of tennis? Is it clear? Yes, start doing something. Yes, sport, a hobby. Will you start? Will you take up painting? Yes, take off. Well, remove. Yes. Can you take off your jacket? It's, can I take out? Can I take off my jacket? It's very hot inside. Yes, okay. Uh, take away. Yes, deprive of. Prevent from having. Yes, okay. Take up, accept, yes, okay. Um, he was taken away, yes, his freedom, yes. He was taken away, yes, cuando le quitan algo, yes, quitar, yes, algo a alguien. He was taken away his freedom, yes, okay, is it clear? Okay, he was taken away his food, yes, okay. Uh, then take up, accept, yes. Will you take up going to that party with me? Yes. Will you take up him again? Yes, okay, good. So, um, will you take up that money from the grandma? Yes, I think you don't need to do that. You have the money. Yes, is it clear? So, um, I want you to do now that you have the uh, meanings, post it on your folder and then phrase adverb plus unit, okay? You put take up, unit 10 plus an example. Yes, okay? Take care of, unit 10 plus an example. Your example, is it clear? So do exercise five and six and we are going to check. Yes, okay? Exercise, exercise five. Are you there? One B, two A, three C, four B. Exercise six takes place, happens, took up, started doing something, a hobby or sport, take off to remove a clothing, for example, to take, take, took off, left the ground. Yeah, ah, that I, I have took off. And uh, it says, the plane took off uh, late last night. Yes, the plane, my sister was, took off very late. Yes, he was delayed. Yes, okay, despegar, muy bien. Okay, and then took away, deprived of, prevented from having. Yes, took up, accepted. Yes, and you have the, will you take up the scholarship? Yes, okay. Well. Uh, in exercise 10, you're going to know, well, we have to do it uh, together, 
But think about it. You, have, you are going to nominate an inspirational person for a prize and you have to say which person, the one you know, yes? Imagine you are 16, 15 years old and you have to uh, nominate one person you know, yes, for a prize, yes, for a special prize, yes? And you have to make notes, yes, biographical notes, yes, okay, about uh, these persons and the reason why you find uh, this person uh, inspirational, yes, okay? Uh, it says here, uh, art, music, business, but we are business and academia, film and television, but I want you to talk about local life, yes? Someone you know, someone for, from your neighborhood, someone for, from school, uh, someone from uh, the place where you live, yes, okay? Think about it. Then we are going to talk and it will be the three minutes video, okay? From these units. Good. So let's go to page 124 and we have more works from the La La Zeta, Cats, Cats and Bruises. Not cats, you know, cats, cortito, cats and bruises. Yes, okay? First aid. What you have, do you have a first aid kit at home? Yes, okay? We are going to work uh, on exercise one. You have cuts and bruises, sprains and breaks, yes, okay, allergic reaction. And you are going to highlight all the words, all the words, yeah. Yes, you are going to work with a dictionary and you are going to put the correct word in the, cor in the correct part of the chart, okay? Is it clear? Okay. Good. Are you ready? So you are going to highlight the chart talking about injuries. We are going to do the listening and we are going to do exercises three and four. But first of all, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. I will go to the answers. Okay, number one, number one, one, one. Okay, cuts and bruises. Yes, okay, cuts and bruises. Are you there? Okay, so you have Blades and knives falling off, yes, something, falling over and tripping up, yes, okay. What is tripping up? Tropezar, yes, okay. ¿Cuándo te puedes hacer estos tipos de, um, de um, injuries, okay, de golpes, yes? Pero acordate que tenemos cuts and bruises, sprays and breaks and allergic reaction, yes, separados así. Yes, uh, sprains and uh, about to sprain your um, uh, your um, ankle. Yes, okay. Uh, falling off something, torcerse muy bien, el guinzarse mejor dicho. Yes, falling off something, falling over, tripping up, allergic reaction to food. Yes, food poisoning, insect bites. Yes, okay. Uh, wasps. And be stings. Stings son picaduras, eh? Okay, is it clear? And now we're going to um, say which expressions refer to injuries in ex to the injuries injuries in exercise one. Uh, okay, so you're going to listen to the conversation and in exercise four, write it please. What advice is given in each case? Okay, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Track 86, Unit 10D. One. Exercise three and four. It's the same listening for both activities. What on earth has happened to you? There's blood all down your leg. Oh, it's nothing. I uh, tripped up when I was out running. I fell on a bit of tree or something. Let me see. Oh, that looks nasty. It's quite a deep cut. You'd better wash it straight away. Yeah, I will. You know, if I were you, I'd go down to A&E. I'd get it looked at. It doesn't hurt. It's just a cut, really. I'm not going all the way to the hospital about a cut on my leg. <laughs> It might need stitches, though. I would keep an eye on it if I were you. Okay. If it doesn't stop bleeding, I'll keep give an eye the... on this. 
Okay. Ojo. Yes. And uh, stitches. Yes. Puntos. Okay. My daughter had an accident uh, two months ago uh, and she was uh, playing quietly. But um, in the swing, yes, with, uh, with daddy, with his daddy, yes, with David. And the thing is that she, um, it wasn't very fast, yes, she wasn't uh, swinging very fast, yes. But the thing is that she felt very, it was a siesta time, her siesta time. But she, she, need, she didn't, needed to go first, she wanted to go first, yes, and she said, just five minutes, so she went. And she felt sleepy, yes, okay, she fell asleep, yes, she fell asleep, and uh, then she, oh my gosh, she flew, yeah, and there was a, a kind of um, tool on the floor, yeah, because we were working on something there, and it was an accident, yes, so she felt on the tool, so they had to give, we went to hospital, of course, very fast, and she got five inches, yes, okay? That looks nasty. What happened to you? There's blood all down your leg. Oh, it's nothing. I uh, tripped up when I was out running. I fell on a bit of tree or something. Tripped up. Let me see. Oh, that looks nasty. It's quite a deep cut. You'd better wash it straight away. Yeah, I will. You know, if I were you, I'd go down to A&E. I'd get it looked at. It doesn't hurt. It's just a cut, really. I'm not going all the way to the hospital about a cut on my leg. Mm. It might need stitches, though. Stitches. I would keep an eye on it if I were you. OK. If it doesn't stop bleeding, I'll give the surgery a ring and stitches. see if the nurse is there. Good. Because I don't think you've got any plasters big enough. Last. Two. Puntos. Is my neck red? I think I've been stung or something. A bit, yeah. It looks a bit swollen. Is it itchy? Not exactly. It's painful rather than really itchy. Oh, funny. I don't usually react to insect bites and stuff. Oh, I feel a bit sick actually. You should put some antihistamine cream on it and Anti see if it gets better. Have you got any? Antidamin antidaminico, yes? So that's it's in case you are allergic to yes, some uh, uh, bites, uh, yes, okay, is it clear? So you need that, yes? Yes, I'm sure I've got some somewhere. You'll have to check the date on the tube though. I'm not sure how long I've had it. Three. Ow! Is your wrist still hurting you? Yeah, actually it is. It hurts when I move it. It might be worth getting it x-rayed. It's been, what, three days now? I wouldn't just ignore it. You might have broken something. X-ray! No, you're probably right. But I'm sure it's just a sprain from when I fell against the table. Even so, it's probably best to get it looked at. Sprain. Mm. Why don't you go and see Rosanna in reception? She's the first aid person. She'll know. Good idea. Okay, so the, the conversation one, okay, the man tripped up, yes, tropezar, acordate, they trip up, yes, uh, cut his leg. That looks nasty, it's nothing. It might be, uh, it might need stitches, acordate, puntos. Uh, conversation two, the woman has been stung. Yes, I've been stung. It looks a bit swollen. It's painful. I feel a bit sick. Yeah, sick. Okay, and conversation three, the man has sprained his wrist. It hurts when I when he moves. Yeah, uh, he says it's just a sprain. Yes, uh, he might have broken something. So he, the woman says, maybe you need an x-ray. Una placa que te hacen sacar. Yes, okay. And in exercise four, the man tripped up and cut his leg. So you'd better... You'd better go, you'd better try, you'd better see, yes? You'd better wash it straight away. If I were you, I could go on an A and E. I would keep an eye on it. The woman has been stung. 
you should remember. Para dar advice, entonces teníamos, eh, usábamos you should, you better, yes, okay, uh, put some antihistamine cream on it. Number three, it hurts when I move it. Uh, it might be worse getting. It's x-rayed. I wouldn't just ignore it. Uh, it's probably best to get it looked at. Uh, why don't you, yes, why don't you uh, go and see Rosanna? Why don't you, you should, you'd better, yes, it's, it is better if you, okay? And then, let's go, this is all from this uh, page, yes, okay? And then, uh, there was an activity on exercise six uh, that we're going to uh, play a role, play a game, yes? Uh, one will be the patient and the other will be the uh, doctor, but the, we, we are going to do this when you come back, okay? Because it is a very uh, nice activity, yes? Uh, when you have a problem, then you are seen by a doctor. The doctor has to solve the problem, okay? Uh, have to give you, has to give you some prescription, maybe. Okay, on page 125, you have a personal email. Yes, what do you talk when you need an advice? When you need advice, yes. Okay, siempre decimos a piece of advice, yes. When you need a piece of advice about the things, okay. Car trouble, difficulties at work, at school, health worries, personal problems, the relationships, yes, okay. Like the letter you have to write, yes, because the girl, your friend, or your friend, uh, a girl or a boy, broke up with a boyfriend. Yes, with his or her boyfriend. Now she feels depressed. Yes, and she has been, uh, she has, uh, she's broken hearted. Yes, okay. So uh, this man or this woman broke his heart. Okay, so we're going to do exercises one, two, three, four, five, A and B. Are you ready? In exercise um, one. Are you there? Okay, there we are. Okay, uh, car trouble. Yes, if you have a car trouble, you go to the mechanic. You see a friend, your father, someone that knows about mechanic, about cars, about repairing cars, motor, motorbikes. Yes, um, if you have a difficult at work, you talk to your friend, uh, your manager, colleague. Yes, okay, some people from the staff. Yes. Uh, if you um, have a relationship problem, maybe you would talk to your close friend, family, um, psychologist, okay? Is it clear? And then you have to read the email and you have to say what is the, its purpose, yes? And you have to choose the first option, the, the best option, sorry, A, B or C. The writing is asking for information about a job opportunity. B, the writing is getting in touch with an old friend. Or C, the writing needs some help making a decision. Yes, stop the video, do the activity. And then you are going to tell me which is the, um, the style of this email. Is it formal? Is it semi-formal? Yes, is it neutral? Okay. And uh, what advice could you give, yes, to Kate? Yes. All right, so let's go there, pause the video, I will continue and then listen to the answers, okay? Exercises 2C, the right needs some uh, help make it, uh, for making a decision. Yes, exercise 3 is informal, yes, okay? Uh, you have all the expressions there, hi, yes, I bet you, yes, hi. Subraya, por favor, I bet you wish, by the way, take care, yes? Uh, uh, in this email, you use, uh, they use abbreviations and you know when we use abbreviations when we are, sorry, when we are, sorry, <clears throat> when we are using informal, uh, informal style, yes, informal language, yes, okay, the uses of personal questions like what you think, yes, okay, hope, yes, when we shorten uh, uh, sentences, okay, Exercise four, the advice, take the job. It's a great way to see the world. And um, you only live once, yes, think carefully. It's hard to find a job, a good job. Uh, at home these days, you probably miss your family. Yes, the advice, yes, the advice, the piece of advice, not advice, advice, a piece of advice. 
Okay, so um, in exercise 5a, I have you. One, of course, obviously, in fact, to be honest, actually, before I forget, incidentally, by the way, anyway, well, so, all the time, even though, even so, however, the thing is, yes, okay, good, B, one, in fact, to be honest, actually, two, these are the words you have to use in this email, okay, clearly, naturally, of course, obviously, exercise uh, sentence three, before I forget, incidentally, by the way, for anyway, well, so, all the same, even so, however, the thing is, okay? And now we are going to go to the revision, yes? And we are going to do, you are going to do exercises one, five, six, and seven. One, five, six, and seven, yes? Okay? Good, number one. I feel was aware. This is conditional, second conditional, if past good infinitive. Got jump. Where would you turn around? Four good and be able to took. Five could kill went. Six looks would feel. Number five heal. Two monitor. Three painful. Four appointment. Six five words. Six treats. Exercise six. How much you sprain your ankle? And this is these are all uh, your ideas, yes? Stripping off, yes, okay. Yeah, me vas a decir como. What would you do if you if a bee strung you? Okay. I would take an anti tafminic yes, a pill. Yes, what kind of things are people allergic to? Allergic to food, aller allergic to um um what else? Food, um dust. Yes, acaros. I don't know how to say at this moment acaros. Yes, okay. Uh, have you ever been, uh, have you ever broken a bone? No, I haven't. Do you know anyone who is afraid of injections? I, I, yes, my best friend. Yes, okay, but not my best friend from here, but it was my best friend when I lived in Mallorca. Now I remember. Yes, okay. Uh, my, she was not afraid. My best friend's brother. Yes, okay. Because when, uh, she was very, he was, um, her brother was very afraid of needles. He was uh, studying um, alternative medicine and uh, she has to practice um, acupuncture with the needles, yes, and she practiced with the brother and she said, no, impossible, because he was very afraid to uh, injections, uh, needles and everything. How serious is food poison? I think it must be very serious, very, very serious. Yeah, if you think you were poisoned, you have to run to the hospital, yes, because I think you would die in minutes. Yes, okay. Seven, yes, get broken bone. Yes, okay, is it clear? Uh, two, foam, serious allergy, allergy, accident, hurt problems. Three, going, sprain, headache, back pain, cut. Four, taking, beat, string, allerg sting, allergic reaction, and five, put, cuts by sting. Yes, okay. Entonces, lo importante de esta unidad es estudiarte cómo te podrías hacer cuts and bruises, yes, with blades and knives, falling off uh, something, falling over, stripping up. Esos verbos son muy importantes para esta unidad, okay? Well, study for next class, do homework, do all the activities, See you next time. Bye-bye.